Active listening is an essential skill that allows individuals to better understand and connect with others. One important aspect of active listening is identifying and addressing any biases that may be present. Biases can negatively impact communication and lead to misunderstandings and conflicts. In this video, we will explore different types of biases, their effects, and strategies for addressing them. One common type of bias is confirmation bias, which occurs when people seek out information that confirms their existing beliefs or hypotheses. For example, if someone holds a belief that all people from a certain group are lazy, they may only pay attention to situations that confirm this belief and ignore those that do not. This can lead to a lack of openness to new ideas and perspectives. To address confirmation bias, Individuals can actively seek out diverse perspectives and challenge their own assumptions. Another type of bias is the false consensus effect, which occurs when people overestimate the extent to which others share their views. For example, if someone assumes that everyone agrees with their political views, they may be surprised and upset when others disagree with them. This can lead to a lack of understanding and acceptance of diverse perspectives. To address the false consensus effect, individuals can actively seek out and engage with people who have different views. A third type of bias is the fundamental attribution error, which occurs when people attribute the behavior of others to their personality or character other than the situation or context. For example, if someone sees a person who is acting rude, they may assume that the person is rude in general rather than considering that they might be having a bad day or going through a tough time. This can lead to misunderstandings and conflicts. To address the fundamental attribution error, individuals can actively try to understand the context and situation in which others are behaving. A fourth type of bias is implicit bias, which is unconscious and automatic, and can influence people's behavior without their knowledge. Implicit biases can be related to race, gender, age, sexual orientation, and many more. For example, if someone is unconsciously biased against people of a certain race, they may unconsciously avoid interacting with people of that race. To address implicit biases, individuals can actively seek out and reflect on their own biases and become aware of how they may be influencing their behavior. One way to address biases is to be aware of the phrases we use and their possible wrong understanding. For example, when someone says I'm just being honest, it can be heard as a way to excuse rudeness or insensitivity. Instead, it is better to express oneself in a way that is considerate of others' feelings, such as I understand how you feel and I want to share my thoughts with you, but I'll try to be more mindful of how it comes across. Another example is when someone says that's not my problem or I'm not responsible. It can be heard as dismissive and unhelpful. Instead, it is better to express oneself in a way that is willing to help, such as I understand that this is not my direct responsibility, but I want to help find a solution. Research has shown that biases can be reduced by increasing awareness and understanding of different perspectives and by actively challenging one's own assumptions. In a study published in the Journal of Social Psychology, participants who reflected on their own biases and actively sought out diverse perspectives experienced a significant reduction in bias. In conclusion, active listening is an essential skill that allows individuals to better understand and connect with others. Identifying and addressing biases is an important aspect of active listening as biases can negatively impact communication and lead to misunderstandings and conflicts. By actively seeking out diverse perspectives, challenging one's own assumptions, being mindful of the phrases we use, and reflecting on one's own biases, individuals can reduce the impact of biases on their communication. It's important to remember that biases can be unconscious and automatic, so it's essential to be aware of them and actively work to address them. This can involve seeking out diverse perspectives, being mindful of the phrases we use, and being willing to help and understand others. Additionally, 
being aware of the context and situation in which people are behaving can help avoid misunderstandings and conflicts. By actively working to identify and address biases, we can improve our communication and build stronger relationships with others.